Hello and welcome to History Pod. Today's episode has been chosen by patrons of History Pod. To find out more, you can visit patreon.com forward slash history pod. On the 28th of December 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen published a paper detailing his discovery of X rays. Röntgen was experimenting with vacuum tubes at the University of Würzburg when he discovered the new invisible light on the 8th of November 1895. Although his lab notes were burned after his death in 1923, Röntgen's biographers describe him noticing a faint glow from a screen covered in fluorescent material about a metre away from his apparatus. This was despite the vacuum tube itself being completely covered with black cardboard that stopped all visible light. Having reasoned that the tube itself must be giving off some invisible rays, Röntgen conducted a series of experiments over the next few weeks, in which he found that the rays could pass through certain objects, but not others. Due to his uncertainty over the exact nature of the new rays, he adopted the mathematical designation X to reflect their mysterious nature. As his experiments continued, Röntgen began to notice that the rays were able to penetrate the soft tissues in his body, but were stopped by bone. After subsequently replacing the fluorescent screen with a photographic plate, he made the first ever X-ray image, which clearly showed the bones of his wife Bertha's hand and her wedding ring. On seeing the image, She is said to have remarked, I have seen my death. Röntgen published the paper On a New Kind of Rays on 28th of December 1895, and news of his discovery spread quickly. Within a year, X-rays were being used as far away as the United States as both a diagnostic tool and for treating cancers. Röntgen refused to take out a patent on X-rays in order to allow the entire world to benefit from them, but was awarded the first ever Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901.